everybody. Thanks for joining me as we take a look at your work week forecast for March 21st through the 25th. And the weather this weekend, or sorry, this week, I should say, is looking dry to start. Um, then we're going to have a soggy with maybe a little bit of wintry uh, precipitation Wednesday night into Thursday that will sort and then a secondary storm sort of forms and we're soggy, um, off and on soggy kind of Thursday into Friday. So um, basically, uh, the real question of the forecast this week is what's going to happen with the storm on Wednesday night? Um, it looks right now like marginal temperatures. The models do want to give us some sleet and freezing rain. Not really much snow with this. Uh, with the system, uh, but the temperatures are going to have been warmer above freezing before the storm and um, in a relatively warm air mass. It's going to be tough to really creep down in some colder air at the surface, but it does look possible. And unfortunately, it's a little too far out to really to suss out some of those details. So I just want to kind of give you an overview of that. We're going to talk about what's going on and give you kind of a, a basic idea for the forecast, but we may need an update at some point this week just to talk about the reality of what might actually happen with the storm. Because some of the details, uh, the real close call stuff on that is going to be really going to have to wait to see whether Thursday morning is going to be slick or just a little bit wet. Okay, so here is our system. There's uh, the overall pattern across the um, – the United States and really across the northern hemisphere has turned uh, in, uh, sort of spring-like, um, not so much in terms of temperatures. I mean, it is spring-like temperature-wise, but really it's turned spring-like in the pattern. We've got much slower moving storms, kind of some cutoff and a kind of block pattern, not really blocked pattern, but a very slow, a much more slow moving pattern than we've had for a lot of the winter. It's very typical of early to mid spring, you know, it's not unusual at all in late, in late March, early April to have a pattern kind of like this. So um, our system here is, is slowly getting together. It's going to take um, really three days to get from here across the southwest uh, into New England, and then it's sort of, sort of going to stick around as two different waves of low pressure uh, for a couple of days, and that's pretty typical of this pattern that we're in now, where things kind of, it is moving, but it's moving slowly. Uh, if we take a look, I'm sorry, uh, before we get to that one, let's take a look at, uh, here's our system slowly getting together across the uh, southern plains and across the southwest, desert southwest. Um, as you can see, big system, big dip in the uh, jet, uh, in the uh, jet stream, yeah, dip in the jet stream here across central part of the country. We have a bit of a ridge um, as the storm that came through over the weekend has slid out to sea well to our east now, um, and that's allowing some warmer, uh, some sort of seasonably, uh, slightly above average temperatures to move in today, um, although our flow is still somewhat also from uh, Quebec, so we're not as warm as we were, say, last week when we really opened the southwest uh, flow into um New England. As you can see here, um, this ridge is starting to build. That's going to move some warmer air in our direction. But like I said, it's not ever going to completely get, uh, we're not going to get into the really warm stuff that's going to stay to our southwest um, as we get, as we are still being influenced some by this uh, area of slightly cooler air, not cold, not really cold Arctic air, but cooler air here that's placed over uh, Quebec currently. And here's our storm getting going. So what does that look like in terms of the overall week pattern? We're going to be breezy today. Temperatures in the um, upper 40s uh, for a lot of us. We'll, it, the wind will make it feel a little bit cooler than that, but it's a good day to get outside, do some uh, yard work and things like that. Um, one thing we want to be careful about over the next couple days with the snow having melted in a lot of places, especially at lower elevations, but even where I am at 1,000 feet, there's not a lot of snow left in your, unless you're in the woods on the north side of the hill. Um, any chance, uh, you want to be careful anywhere where there's your grass or where it's dried up a little bit uh, with these breezy conditions with uh, burning uh, brush or anything like that. Definitely uh, fire danger is going to increase some over the next couple of days before. We, and we got a long ways to go before green up. So we'll have to be careful anytime we get a stretch of a couple of dry days with some wind for the next uh, six weeks or so before we get green up and then things settle down brush fire wise. Um, Wednesday, Clouds move in early, and we're uh, a little cooler on Wednesday. Uh, we do get below freezing some of these nights, so if you've been stuck at, on dirt roads with all the mud, hopefully that will help a little bit firm things up. Also, the drier conditions and the breeze kind of helps dry things up over the next couple days. Hopefully that will uh, start to firm up the roads a little bit before we head into uh, all the issues we may have at the end of the week. And with the temperatures cooler, no real big warm-up coming. Hopefully that's going to give the uh, town some chance to get out there and uh, get the roads passable. I know it's been real rough over the weekend So um, with what happened at the end of last week. So... Wednesday night, that's the question. Like I said, I think a lot of places are going to be rain, but we are going to have to watch out whether some of the valleys, some spots um, are at that, at that maybe the higher elevations as well, get a little bit of sleet or freezing rain out of this. I think not too much snow um, would fall with this, but we're going to have to keep an eye on that. So, um, and I think, we're like I said, we're going to have to probably get till probably Tuesday, uh, tomorrow 
evening before we'll know for sure. Uh, rain on Thursday night into Friday continues, and then we have some leftover sprinkles on Friday, although we could even see a few peaks of sun. I didn't put that in the forecast, but I think we see a few peaks of sun on Friday with temperatures in the mid-40s on Friday. All right, um, in terms of your outdoor activity forecast, uh, we are a great day to get work, yard work done today and tomorrow. Uh, precipitation holds off on Wednesday, so if you've got outdoor plans, for the most part, unless they're later in the afternoon, you should be in good shape. Thursday is soggy with maybe some slick spots in the morning. And then Friday, a good, not actually a bad day to get outside, but you could, you should have to, you might have to dodge a sprinkle or two, so just be aware of that. All right, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel before, I would encourage you to do so so you don't miss any of my forecasts. And also, um, there's, uh, I'm going to give a quick shout out to my patrons who help support what I do here. And there's a link in the description below if you're interested in uh, what happens, uh, what the, my patrons get for some uh, added benefits for help and support what goes on here. And uh, also, just just uh, all the stuff that goes on as the West River weather guy. All right, I'll be back on probably to tomorrow evening or Wednesday morning with some details about whether or not I think that freezing rain is really going to be a possibility. And I'll be back on Friday morning with a look at your weekend forecast.